Hello and welcome back to our channel with a new video. Today we will discuss all you need to know about carpal tunnel syndrome. So without further ado, let's start with today's video. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a common problem in which the hand and fingers experience discomfort, numbness, and tingling. This occurs when one of the primary nerves in the hand, the median nerve, is squeezed or compressed as it travels through the wrist. Carpal tunnel syndrome worsens with time in the majority of patients. Therefore early diagnosis and treatment are critical. Early symptoms can frequently be reduced with simple steps like wearing a wrist splint or avoiding specific activities. However, if pressure on the median nerve persists, it might result in nerve injury and worsen symptoms. For some patients, surgery to relieve stress on the median nerve may be needed to prevent lasting damage. Carpal Tunnel Anatomy The carpal tunnel is a tiny channel in the wrist. Carpal bones, which are small wrist bones, construct the tunnel's floor and sides. The carpal tunnel protects the median nerve and the flexor tendons that bend the fingers and thumb. The transverse carpal ligament, a strong band of connective tissue, forms the tunnel's roof. The carpal tunnel has minimal capacity to stretch or expand in size since these boundaries are rigid. One of the primary nerves in hand is the median nerve. It begins as a collection of nerve roots in the neck. These roots come together to form a single nerve. The median nerve runs down the arm and forearm, then through the wrist's carpal tunnel into the hand. The feeling is provided by the nerve in the thumb, index, and middle fingers tips plus half of the ring finger. The nerve likewise controls the muscles at the base of the thumb. The carpal tunnel also houses the nine flexor tendons that bend the fingers and thumb. When does carpal tunnel syndrome occur? When the tunnel narrows, pressure is placed on the median nerve, causing carpal tunnel syndrome. Pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness in the fingers might occur from this excessive pressure on the nerve. Carpal tunnel syndrome causes Several conditions can cause inflammation and swelling of the carpal tunnel and eventually leading to the syndrome. Women and the elderly population are more likely to develop the disease, yet it can occur in anyone. Conditions that can cause carpal tunnel syndrome include Repetitive use of the hands Repeating the same hand and wrist motions or activities over time can induce inflammation and swelling around the carpal tunnel resulting in pressure on the nerve. Position of the hands and wrists activities that require a lot of flexion or extension of the hand and wrist for a long time might put a lot of pressure on the nerve. Pregnancy Hormonal changes during pregnancy can cause swelling and compression on the nerve. Certain medical issues. Carpal tunnel syndrome is associated with illnesses such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid gland imbalance, and few other medical problems. Carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms. There are two types of carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms. Static, a more severe variety in which the symptoms remain consistent throughout the day, with no increase or decrease. This takes time to improve following surgery, since the median nerve has been pinched for a long time and requires extra time to recover. Fluctuating, a milder form with symptoms that come and go and increase and decrease during the day. They can rise during the night and early in the morning. This shows fast alleviation after surgery because the nerve was not entirely compressed and the pathology was discovered early on. How is carpal tunnel syndrome treated? Carpal tunnel syndrome is treated in one of two ways, non-surgically or surgically. Both options have advantages and disadvantages. Non-surgical therapies are usually reserved for less severe cases and allow you to go about your routine without interruption. Yet, they are only treating the symptoms, not the disease. Surgical treatment is directed at treating the main pathology, can help in more severe cases, and has a high success rate. Non-surgical treatments Non-surgical treatments are usually explored initially. The process of treatment begins with At night, wear a wrist splint. This keeps your wrist straight and minimizes the compression on the nerve. 
ibuprofen and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines can help decrease swelling and pain. Other treatments aim to alter your environment to alleviate symptoms. This is often seen in the workplace, where you can make modifications to help minimize the compression within the carpal tunnel. These changes might include raising or lowering your chair, moving your computer keyboard, changing your hand or wrist position while doing activities, using rigid splints. Cortisone injection can be helpful to reduce the swelling, but has very limited indications and is not considered as a standard go-to treatment. Surgical treatments. Surgery would be indicated when non-surgical therapy fails to relieve carpal tunnel syndrome or the condition has progressed to the point where surgery is required. The purpose of surgery is to increase the tunnel's size to relieve the pressure on the nerve. The transverse carpal ligament that covers the tunnel at the base of the palm is cut to accomplish this. If you have surgery, you can anticipate experiencing the following. Have an outpatient procedure in which you will be awake, but will have a local anesthetic to freeze the area. In some situations, your doctor may recommend general sedation or general anesthesia. This option allows you to take a quick snooze during the procedure and then wake up after it's done. For the first 24 to 72 hours after surgery, you may have some discomfort. Even the night after surgery, most people have complete nightly symptom alleviation. After 10 to 14 days, get your stitches removed. Using particular workout routines, hand and wrist use for everyday activities is gradually regained. The length of time it takes you to recover depends on your age, general health, the severity of your carpal tunnel syndrome, how long you've had symptoms, and what you would like to do with your hand. After surgery, you will continue to build strength and sensation over the next few months. Most carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms will be relieved. Recovery To minimize swelling and prevent stiffness, elevate your hand to the level of the heart and move your fingers as soon as you can. After your procedure, you should expect some pain, edema, and stiffness. This usually improves over time, also your grip and pinch strength usually return in few months. However, if your median nerve was severely compressed prior to the surgery, grip and pinch strength may take 6 to 12 months to improve. Soon after surgery, driving, self-care activities, light lifting and grasping are allowed. Your doctor will discuss when you will be allowed to return to work and whether or not you will be restricted in your work activities. Still, need more information on this topic? Don't worry. We have got you covered. Check out the links in the description box below to learn more about our resources and other helpful materials. Before you go anywhere, make sure to give our video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so you don't miss any of our intriguing videos. Stay tuned until next week.